Stan to McWars, and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech. As we get into the campaigns of Copper Tops Cannoneers, and last time, well, we took a bit of damage, did a lot of fighting against Urban Max, and unfortunately didn't pick up any of them because we were focused on artillery. Uh, love clustering stacking with missiles, got a lucky band of uh, Rocking Clan Artemis at fire control system, even though he isn't using Artemis missiles. Using a stream MRM 30 and Clan Streak S from 6. That sounds hilarious. Oh, that's beautiful. We need to stack more such things. All right, let's go find the enemy. And the way we do this is we abuse the deploy mechanic by trying to deploy two clusters. There they are. Okay. Uh, 22. They're, so they're right here. Okay. Can I claim this? No, I can't. I need to be 400 meters away from the enemy. There we go. We'll land right at the crossroads. We'll go right up here, be able to shoot down on them, and hope this works. We get to deploy where we want to, within reason. All right, mate. There we go. Enemy contact! Oh, they go. ran into range. It's a Venom. Venoms are nice. They generally are with snub-nosed PPCs, which is a very nice mech to steal. So let's have... Early up. All right, Gimroth's up. Now, are you rocking your maximum? We don't know. We don't have enough sensor data on them just yet. I'm going to make sure that we're at our maximum speed of 7, but I do want to take a peek hit him back to that's not gonna happen we'll find the angle well six might be good enough seven would just be more ideal that's the only problem we'll keep the range out and see if that helps hey what do we got we have a Vulcan so 45 ton mech Vulcan 2 R twin ballistic probably machine guns hammer 3g not at all concerned about that I don't think because I don't think you're because you're not a hammer hands <laughs> Apparently, you look like a mini squashed atlas, so there is that. We got our Venom here, which possibly carting around a Snowdose BBC, as it often does. And a Sling, which is like a 30 or 35 ton missile boat. So, nothing too serious, nothing too special either. We'll just give a bit of a peek over you. Yeah, the streaks didn't fire, but the alarm still managed to get a, get a solid hit. And now we'll reserve to the bottom, make sure that we can avoid that. Now, unfortunately, they do have reinforcements, so it's two against one in this, probably. It's true as dark. <laughs> All right, what kind of sling are we dealing with here? Ooh, a good one. That seems like a really good one, actually. What kind of missiles are you packing? Is it just three LRM fights? Oh, we're being attacked from the side. See, this is why we waited so that we could have you know maximum <laughs> ECM protection while they were all setting up. Prowler multi-terrain. Nah, eh, that's not too dangerous. We should be able to handle that one. I think right now the prize is the Vulcan. Uh, we can do many things with a Vulcan. We have some equipment that can fit into it. Mainly, you know, rifles, but rifles are surprisingly efficient. Yeah, definitely. Uh, snub and two medium lasers, one of which is broken at the moment. So we are going to want to take him. I believe the snub's located in his right torso, but I'm not positive. Hello, Hammer. All you are a good nominal. Call sign ferret. Thank you for the follow. Hopefully you will enjoy your time spent here with us. Hopefully we live up to your expectations. Ready for orders. Shade, I think I want to send towards the prowler already, but I'm still not going to move. We're going to wait. We still have people hanging down low. Uh, namely this Vulcan at the moment. And I want to make sure he moves first, and then I'll mob him. Machine gun, AC2, and medium laser? It feels weak for a Vulcan. Well, it is a Vulcan 2 TR, so... Might just be something incredibly primitive. Let's go have our Hetzer go fight vehicle combat. Uh, I only see a single prowler. Let's watch off from the incendiary rounds to the normals. Twin medium pulses. That would be a really nice pickup. That was a miss. We were expecting it. But we're still going to keep on firing. Because there's no reason not to. We'll probably have enough ammo to run the entire run the entire board. Ooh, I do have a nice angle on the Vulcan. Not a great angle. It is an obstructed shot. But it does give me a side angle with... 15% accuracy. Uh, early rug tech, that's actually not terrible. I can go up here try and get a high ground bonus, but that's not... I feel like rug tech nerfed our high ground bonus really badly. Bessie's gonna be suffering from uh, the initiative penalty for reserving so much, as will everybody at this moment. So it's probably a better idea to try and swing off here to the side first. Or run the gun up to full. Hey, we got a hit. I'll work with that. 
and Pyro. Pyro, unfortunately, is currently on fire, which is obviously a bad thing. Again, we're going to spend the first turn messing around with this Prowler so that when the next turn comes, we're not penalized too badly. Pyro, again, with a solid hit, he does not care. Always nailing his mark. He is the edgy sniper of the group. He's very unhappy to be in a tank. Oh, wow, both of them managed it. How badly did we mess up this Prowler? <laughs> we're burning through his front armor. It's just going to take a little while. Let's go bring the accuracy on top of them. We will not use the bomb mines. I intend to utilize them for greater effect on other targets. Uh, no tag arrow, because I don't want to link into that, but I will do sensor mines. So once he moves, we'll have easy shots on him. Oh good, we came out high, because Gamroth moved early. So Gamroth is now going to get the hell out of here, because being the only target in that function is a bad idea. We're going to slip him back here. Just going to bom bombard him. If we can kill him early, that'd be nice, but I don't have much expectation to. The reason why is because it'll deny the sling of more accurate shots than he's going to get. Unfortunately, Shade jammed the gun. Today's been a bad day for jamming. I wonder if they've increased his chances recently with Negative the patches. Damage. Repeat. Negative damage. But he did have the gun unjammed now. Maybe I should put that jam fire control system on uh, it. <laughs> we did manage to get it after all. Five is about the maximum evasion you're going to pick up. Make sure that you don't get to do anything. Again, I'm not going to use any of our other weapon systems. And we did actually manage to hit him with a tag. So that's nice and comfy. Slang. Raining on my parade. But other than that, nothing too terrible just yet. Probably just moved through our minds. And was actually surprisingly effective against the Hatzer, but I probably should have expected that considering the number of missiles he had and the pulse lasers ignoring my evasion. But he is marked out, so I should actually have a shot on him. Venom sees the warrior, but cannot connect. Wait, is that a large laser? Ooh, that would be nasty if it is. I don't think there's enough tonnage in a Venom to do that, though. You know, double gear. I'm gonna be on the wrong side, unfortunately. Burning through him at full power. We'll have to hope that the AC-20 hits them. My accuracy's not bad, though. There we go. I wonder if it's scattered to the front. Please do not remind me of how terrible that Atlas looks. Ooh, he's dropping Inferno missiles on me. That's where that fire came from. I thought it was a random effect, but no. He's actually deliberately aiming at my... Not good. Not good at all. Where did I scatter that? <laughs> oh, I am on his right side. Ready well, forward. never mind then. We actually have a great chance to try and burn through him. 35% <laughs> chance. This Hetzer can't no, hit the broadside of a bard. Running does not help, but still. Roger. Fun fact, artillery clears mines out now. So do PPCs, apparently. Uh, as we noted in the last oh, mission. But PPCs was just clearing everything. It was rather amusing, actually. It's never back walking versus running. There's no difference. 44. Uh, I could use the incendiaries. I'm not going to. I'm going to throw coins at the enemy and see how many flip heads up. Unfortunately, this was not one of them. From the top. Okay, here I'm off. Come in here and continue to beat on him. I am giving them a fairly nice movement bonus, which I'm not happy about. On my way. Double time. Because I do know I don't want this guy in my backline. Yeah, Commander. Doing backline things. Move order received. You're done. Goodbye. Confirmed. Take an extra turn. Kind of figured that would end up being the case. Oh, that was the only reinforcement unit. Oh, very nice. Alright, so we'll pick up all of his weapons and we'll be able to steal them. Move the AWACS over here and we'll start jamming and see 3 everybody again. Other than Airburst, which does not clear mines. That's interesting. PPC OP, please nerf. No, don't touch the PPCs. They're already bad. Don't make them worse. Uh, I could throw a tag arrow out. The problem is it's just not going to be very accurate and I don't want to waste it. Uh, I'm going to throw sensor mines down to the Venom. See if we can't get a situation where we can start really going after them more effectively. Venoms are fast. They're basically super spiders. With all the love that that is implied with. Airburst clears choppers. Ah! See, I was just talking about that. In the last mission, I was mentioning how there should be an airburst round to allow artillery to target uh, target flying units. 
And now I'm told there is one. Lovely. On it. The hats are moving for his flanking maneuver, although this is a lot of forest. Good, you missed. Although you may have cleared the sensor mines in front of you, which... Oh, you ran right through them. Okay, beautiful. Any bomb mines on you, that'd be Standing okay. By. And... That's my laser EMS range, isn't it? I'm not super worried about the Vulcan. Vulcans generally don't have a lot of gear on them that's actually useful. But they do have an annoying amount of uh, LRMs, which they are using to target my vehicles with. Especially, you know, if they can inflict burn damage, which is not good. So it may behoove me to avoid the forest with vehicles so long as they're targeting. Oh, Pyro. Pyro can actually fight fairly close to the enemy. His Tiger tank is pretty decently tough. Uh, we just gotta keep him outside the fairly small mi minimum range of Gauss Rebels. Might check the mini atlas. Uh, specifically about what of the, the hammer. Sling has exactly what I thought he did. Okay, so it's an ER medium. That's somewhat helpful. Point LRM5 and ask, do, how good at the gear do I have? We don't have a deep enough sensor lock in order to quite figure out what he's packing. Who would like to take that sling though? Hi guys, we're behind you. Vulcan, accurate shot because he's slow. Oh, one of your ballistics is broken. Hammer is an accurate shot on your back. I'll take that. You're a little too dangerous to be left alive. Bessie's going to run right up here. I don't know if Bessie has enough of a jump in order to clear this, but we're going to give it a shot. All right, see you around, Stozy. Thank you for swinging on by. Basically the idiot of our team. So I already got flak shells. Yep, and they needed them. Thank you for uh, joining us, Desi. Hopefully you have a wonderful evening. Heat from the fire. Now you're talking to my tiger. I'm a little disappointed that the AMS was not protecting, but hey. AMS at the moment is selfish unless you get the advanced AMS, which we clearly do not. Oh, I can get six. Five, okay. Because it, it jiggered me back, unfortunately. Uh, accurate shot of the hammer? Not really. Oh, well, the, yeah, that'll be accurate. And we'll nail him. Sassy, cheered 100 bits. Thank you, my man. AMS, AMS is on or on overcharge. Uh, because it's a, just a standard laser AMS, I didn't assume that it had an overcharge mode, but I can check that. Next time it comes to us. I don't think the barrage was right on, but hey, that'll be fine. I do want to take that Vulcan attack, though. Just because I want the Vulcan. It's a... It's an odd-looking mech, and I enjoy odd-looking mechs. Rug. Oh, it does overload. Lovely. Well, let's do that. There's a lot of missiles flying around. We may as well make sure that we're being helpful. Got it. Hi. Enjoy the bolt-on rockets. Eh, nice little heat incre increase. It's not going to do a whole ton to them, but hey. Over not. All right. Click. Bring around your head, sir. Just sneak it. Sneak it into position. You know, as well as headsers do. Good to go. Pyro will join in on beating up on the Venom. Under oh, this Under Venom does not know what's about to hit it. Well, potentially. Yep, that worked. That's exactly what I wanted. Stop. We take the other leg, we're going to get so much nice gear. Venoms are filled to the brim with solid kit. I love them. Hopefully most of that will be intact. Ooh, I just realized we probably shouldn't do that. And there's the artillery. Did you enjoy it? Gamroth, <laughs> Gamroth, you're gonna have to move quicker than that if you want to survive. A lot quicker than that. There we go. Alright, so you've lost your leg, which is beautiful. To get through the other leg, we're going to need to get through 100 damage. That'll be fun. That'll be all kinds of fun. Uh, I think I want to try and make this hammer unsteady. Hey, we got a good shot on that one. Which means Shade, can you get up here? Shade cannot get up here. That was my fear. Can get a shot on you. You are unsteady. Unfortunately, that's not going to work. Although, I can also get a shot on you, and you are, you know, face face first on the ground, so... Helpful. Double 
time. Let's, go. Let's slow you down. We're gonna throw in the bolt on rockets. They're not that useful anyway. Structure exposed. Beautiful. I'm out of SRM. I don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to overwhelm him. Take that walk and I'll shoot at us. But we have an AWACS with he with all the other things. <laughs> Wasn't this not sneak an answer? Well, it does have tires, so it is nice and quiet. Uh, Reasonable. I have a shot. <laughs> it's not a good shot, but it's a shot. Take the shot. Yeah, <laughs> that didn't work. Negative damage. Turn. Who's moving? Hopefully not you. Yeah, the button was moving on one. I will have a chance, only a chance, to kill him. Bessie avoiding almost all of that, so that's beautiful. Reporting minimal damage. And copper tide is going to come right on along. And screw with everybody. I probably did not move nearly as much as I should have. Throw the bomb mines in. This is not a great accurate shot, though. Looking's not bad. Yeah, we'll go sensor ping and bomb mines to see where they scatter. Ooh, that looks like a good scatter. I think. Nope, no, they were not. I just saw where the bomb mines land. <sighs> they landed over here. Very useful. Very effective. Yes, Commander. All right, Sprogue, uh, you are cooking yourself to death because of my stupidity, but we're just going to roll with it. Please hit that leg and do me the favor. Engaging target. I don't think that hit the leg, just going on a limb. Uh huh. Yes, Commander. Pyro. Same deal. No. Well, he's feeling stressed, and I like it when the enemy feels stressed. I did not move, though, so he'll probably shoot at me. Not that he's going to be moving very quickly, anyway. He decided to shoot a Bessie. Why? You had two targets who had barely moved right next to you. He's a nice pilot, like most spiders are. Yeah, we nicked that thing with a single missile. Lovely. Exactly what I expect out of you. Bessie, run around to this corner. It's clearly Order the better man. corner to go from. Turn to chill. Gemroth can slip around. Uh, a little bit more speed than that. I will work with that. We're gonna mess with the sling a little bit. It's not accurate, but it doesn't need to be. Managed to knock out a swarm LRM, so that will be helpful, actually. That means he will be less likely to be able to hit all of my little guys when they're zipping around at maximum speed. Four, I'll take it. It's a bit risky, but I think I'm jamming them well enough in order to deal with that. Where's all your tonnage? You should have a flamer on top of this. Huh. Would like to hit the hammer, but I'm not going to. Yeah, that back shot on the sling is way too nice. Dropping sensor mines everywhere. Yeah. 17 on the sling. The mech is on fire. I love to see it. The point defense system kicking in like mad. I love it. Three of them shot down. It looked like it was doing far more than that. But clearly, it was not. Unfortunately, you're actually properly guarding your correct side instead of, you know, being dumb. Which I am told is against the rules. Dial there. Urban makes I have a 360 retreat. They do not care about facings. Ooh, the temperature's getting hot. 21%, 29%. Uh, 44, not worth it. We're just gonna spend the turn chilling. We'll rely on Pyro to do most of the heavy lifting. You. The leak slipping on through the forest. Yeah, 27%. Oh, that's as good as he's had all day. Yeah, that didn't it. <laughs> no luck. Although that Vulcan is on fire, man. So the heat effect at that point is starting to reduce his accuracy on top of us. And there's a shutdown. Ooh, we may have a chance here. It's not a good chance, but it's a chance. He's still dumping heat on me. Which is, you know, a pretty clever move on his part. Receiving you. Oh, now you're tempting me. And you know you're tempting me, that's why you did it. I mean, it's not. 
literally not, but... Because if I go for it... Shoot the hammer in the back, shoot the venom in the back. The problem with shooting the venom in the back is if I get a good shot in here, I can kill very important equipment that I want to steal. So we'll go for it. We'll attempt the headshot. Well, we exposed something and we broke his medium laser, which we did kind of need. Critical hit, coming back around, engaging my tiger and failing, which is exactly what we're looking for. Do not succeed. Orders? Shade, keep your run. I wish I could swap out the engine on this mech, but you can't. It's built in. Used to let you remove it. We're just gonna have basically everybody target your face. I don't think you have, yeah, in fact, I know you don't have an XL engine. If I get a little bit lucky, I might be able to pull something off. Face. And fire. Section marked and acquired. Uh, Gamroth, you actually do need to target more important things because as much as I have a vanity project going about trying to get that Vulcan. I also need to, you know, stay alive by the end of this. So we're going to need you to do that. Dude, I'm on the wrong side of him. Now, there you go. I broke your hand. Crit your snub nose PPC and your engine. So, ooh, I think... Wait, how do I crit your engine? I don't have a torso open yet. Somebody's panicking. Oh, it's you because of the mines. I love it. How's it going? Um, could be going better, but Back we're going to try and make it go better. Seven, yeah, target you, target his face, blow it off. Copy that. No, that was the side torso that I deliberately did not want to destroy. Thank good. you. Like you're in the scruffy part of the game, oof, need that medium. <laughs> yep, we definitely are. Sadly, Ready we do not have all of the cool gear. And we're not, like, offered all the cool gear all the time, like, you know, the other parts of the game. Because once you get to a point where you're really liked by a faction, they'll just, like, say, hey, here's 15 medium lasers bundled in the same location. Surely that is what you want. Confirmed. I don't know where that shot went, but it sure as hell wasn't into the enemy. Target missed. Standing by. I wrote. Acknowledged. Pyro, would you like to take a shot at a Venom and maybe blow him up? I copy. The gear that I was hoping for is already gone, so... so we will not, unfortunately, be able to get all of the coolest things. <laughs> there went his engine, which took away all of the point of trying to get that thing attacked. That sucks. Show me the Venom. Nomo's PPC is still alive. So I can still grab it. Moving out. Avoid being on that side entirely. Just start working him down. Over there. Uh, that's a side shot, I'll take it. Because you're not particularly evasive at the moment. Jump jet destroyed. Stability damage increases. Stress increasing as well. Uh, unfortunately, we're harming things that we don't want to harm, but I don't think we have much of a choice anymore. Your point defense system. Your missiles will not get through. Everything is under control. Copper top, exactly the man I wanted to see. Why, you may ask, and the answer is rather simple, actually. Copper top has SRMs, which deal effects like criticals, but he also doesn't actually deal damage with them. As long as I have him in chaff mode. Engine destroyed. But that engine destruction was not done by blowing him up. No, that engine destruction was done by critting him. So, there's going to be a lot of parts to that spider, to that venom on the ground. In fact, it may even have the entire venom, if we're really lucky. We did blow off a leg, so I think that's going to remove one. Uh, you will hit... I sure should have sent that he almost hit him too. He came close. We are one urban mech part away from building an Irby, which is nice. Although we've also built two Irbys by now, so 
We don't really need turbines too much. That should be nice and accurate. Hi there, friendo. Oh, that... Not quite the torso I wanted to destroy, if I'm completely honest. Because I wanted to take you somewhat intact. Didn't quite work. Hello, hammer. That time, we hit him. Turn around, he's going to shoot both of his medium lasers at the Hetzer. That didn't work for him. Now he's going to cook. Yes, exactly. Life support A destroyed. Wait, what? Oh, you're in trouble now, son. Yeah, Commander. All right, let's get Bessie up here. Let's pick him apart. Aim for the head. You got a lot of shots to do with. Uh, I think he killed the court. That was not what I asked for. There's some random poor village on the rendering that's raining metal. No, those were incendiary shells too, so the village has burnt down by now. Somewhat unfortunate, but it's what we have to work with. If I could modify that headset, I would give it better sensors. I would give it a beagle electric probe. I would do something to save it. But they are already starting to work on modifiable vehicles, so I'm willing to wait. Besides, having the ability at all, when before we were told, oh no, there, there's no way, is very nice. 196,000 seagulls, that'll go very nicely. Eh, minor damage across the board. This will be expensive, at least 10,000 seagulls, I'd imagine. Uh, one, two, three, yeah, four parts of the sling, as we expected. One, four parts of the spider, as we expected, so we're not going to grab my parts. Uh, the, so, it's not actually a spider. The Venom is an upgraded spider, even though it is SDR. Prowler, three parts of that, I don't really care for it. Uh, ER medium laser, yes. Medium pulse lasers. Yes, snub nose PPC. Don't mind if I do. C3 unit, I already have one. Endo steel is useful. C20 fusion core, I have none of them, and they are good. Artemis 2. Oh, uh, your medium laser, goodbye. Come to Papa. Artemis 2 plus 3 clustering. Ferrofibrous, I don't really need it. Guardian would be lovely, but I do need medium pulse lasers. Sensor basic, no, no, and chaff. Incendiary. So, this is where what the hammer was lobbing at us. Which would be nice to have, but I'm not going to risk it. 19 other parts. We got a hammer part, which we're going to sell. We've got a prowler, which we're going to sell. Uh, the prowlers actually sell for a lot of money. One part to the venom. So the next venom we can run into, I believe we can just blow off a side torso. Because I think that the venom has an XL engine, but I'm not positive on that. Part to a Vulcan. Uh, Vulcans do not come in, you know, XL engine forms. They're fairly terrible. Uh, ER medium laser, we got it for free anyway, LR5. Did get the C3 unit for free, a t one of the ferrofibrous units, and the sensor missile range. Oh, thank you. Did not get the Inferno, but this is a nice pickup. We've got some pretty decent gear. Uh, give it RDPs? Give who RDPs? The urban mech that we have is unfortunately an en energy only art mech, which I know it's, it's rather painful. Given that most urban mechs feature some sort of, you know, big ballistic cannon because of the standard. Oh, the, the hats are? I wish. That would be that would be pretty decent, too. Put a, a Howitzer 2000 on it. Although, at 15 tons. Well, technically 14. I wonder what else you could put on it. Is that a thumper? I think that's a full-on thumper. Yeah, not amazing. It's an AC-10. But, you know, it's artillery. It can land anywhere it wants to. Thumper is 15 tons? Uh, 3182. Okay, so that's a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be. So once again, the biggest problem is the fact that our people are exhausted. Although, looks like we will be able to get in one more mission before the end of the month. We're not quite to the point of the end of the month, but that's easily rectifiable by selling pieces of mechs that we're not actually going to keep. Uh, keep that. To, uh, we, we're keeping the raptor part because if you blow off the side torso of a raptor, that's four more parts. Just instantaneously. They're amazing. Keep the wasp lamb because I adore lambs. Uh, we keep our urban mechs because we have a whole bunch of them. The hammer I don't really like. Uh, the reason I'm the the honest to god reason why I'm getting rid of the hammer. The hammer doesn't have its own model. If you want a fast way to put you in the in the book of me saying that I'm not going to keep you, don't have your own model. Like the gladiator now has its own model and it's gorgeous. No seriously, this gladiator is lovely. It's like a super buff version of the Vulcan and I love it because they use the Vulcan cockpit for it. Like a combination it's a combination of an ostwar a phoenix hawk a vulcan 
And I kind of get the feeling that there's a little bit of Warhammer in here, but that might just be an archer. So, I'd love to put this thing back together, but I don't have missile slots because it's the primitive version. The normal one does have a pair of missile slots for like shoulder LRMs or SRMs. And then of course, here's this, our beautiful hangar queen. We still do not have enough parts to put this thing together. Because <laughs> it's 800,000 just to do this. Just to get to this point is 800,000. Uh, I do believe, though, that we would probably put in... We picked up that 280 rated fusion core, so we'd probably use that. This thing originally have. Speed on this thing is going down, though, so unfortunately it's going to be technically a 3.5. If it were two more higher, it would be the uh, the 4.6 that it needs to be. But it's not. We need a 300 rated fusion core. But we're still working on that. And then... The big thing that I would want to put into it is, of course... Clan ATMs, because those are awesome. Big ballistic up here. <laughs> we can put the howitzer. Oh god! I normally I would scoff at anything short of a Gauss rifle for a Marauder, and yet here I am negotiating. Like, can can I fit in a heavy rifle? Because that's all I've got. <laughs> we need to start running into higher level missions to pick up the more deadly things. Two ATMs. Two tons of those. Got two more ballistic slots just in hands. It's like, what? At least there's energy slots there too, because now we have a pair of. Numb note, or not some of those. Of medium pulse lasers. And of course, we need a double heatsink kit. We throw in, you know, bolt on rocket launchers of some description. It'd be great. It'd be lovely. Sadly, we just still need more parts. But I do want to build this someday soon. Soon. And for, oh, we can actually put the urban mech together now. Uh, it is a fairly cheap repair. It'll be built pretty much exactly the same as the other one. So it would be a PPC. Can I do that? No, I can't. I'm just totally limited on that. That would be funny if we could. Then we put in a PPC and a medium laser. Equipment, give me internals, fusion core, could I fit in the 170? Half a ton of overweight, of course we have an extra heatsink here. So, it's basically the same thing as the other one. <laughs> and fairly fast, this is a 5-8 movement. So not terrible. Oh, uh, that'd be a 5-day build as well. You know, I have a little bit more armor tonnage. There we go. So we'll uh, do this. Nope, wrong one. It's shift, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. So that I can, you know, keep my symmetry. Actually, let's just do this. And that would be the Mac, probably. It's not great. And it's still to get two PVCs. Uh, I don't know if we could manage that. Well, we actually might. I take that back. If we go, as we talked about earlier. Ugh. Yeah, that would technically work. But the Snub Nose PPC is too, too short ranged. <coughs> oh, it explicitly says Mind Clear. Does the normal one have? Hmm, Snub Nose PPCs apparently do not have Mind Clear. That's odd. Can I get a bigger fusion core into this thing? If I can, then I'm, you know, willing to entertain the notion, but. Three and a half tons. <laughs> We'd need an XL engine. Even with the second cinema of PPC, we'd need an XL engine. Up to 90. That rear fusion core would make it move fairly decently. I'll have to think about that. We are starting to pick up enough parts to put this thing together. But we also need to consider that we've got a couple more mechs coming online. I believe the Hunchback is actually being constructed, not just repaired. Move destroyed, install, right trust component. Yeah, so we are building Stealth X <laughs> We're building an AC ten stealth version of a hunchback, that'll be fun. Uh the Clint is actually being constructed. The rifleman, I believe it was just a repair. Yeah, the rifleman's just a repair. But we will have it in a month. Then the Yeah, that's all we've got at the moment for equipment, because we got two more mechs sitting waiting for repair, which basically is waiting on cash. Thanks, Dubs, do do mind clear. 
I would believe that they would just because they're PPCs. It just doesn't mention it in their tooltip, unlike the other normal PPCs. PPCs have mine clear, but snubs don't, even though those snubs are just cut down PPCs. It might have it. It may just be a missing tooltip, which happens from time to time. We're going to run to the other and see if anybody... One, two. This is risky. Do I want to wait for my mech pilots? <laughs> oh, we did it. We did it. Okay, last day of the month. We are underfunded at the moment. All of our mech pilots are back, though. So we will be able to actually get in another mission before the end of the month. Copper top leveled up. Um, plus three initiative. That would be fun. Really need a jam chance. We do not need melee accuracy at the moment. Yeah, we'll throw tactics. Tactics is super important in Rotec. Unlike the base game, tactics yeah. is actually useful in this. Good to go. Waiting for orders. Uh, Pyro has leveled up. Pyro, you can get piloting. It's totally worthless to you. Piloting and guts are just total, totally non-issue when it comes to any ability. You know, I think I'm just going to stop leveling these guys up except for these two. Now that you have your specialties, you don't ever need the others. That is something that does need to be looked into. Spirits, are you still with me, my buddy? Uh, lights do, so I don't know what's... Don't know why snubs wouldn't. Like I said, might just be a missing tooltip. We actually found an urban mech that was seven tons on overweight, which was actually pretty amusing. Commander. Sprogue's leveled up. Ooh, what do we think Sprogue would do? Sprogue thinks of himself as being incredibly, you know, smart and tactical. So... Think tactician. Tactician's just good. Although I do not know what the higher level of piloting gives. Because if there's ace pilot up there, then I want that. <laughs> he generally does not drive fast. Uh, Alright, spirits, what do you want? You are a mech vehicle pilot, so all things matter to you. You get gunnery, which will give you either bandit, which gives you better clustering rolls, or focus fire, which gives you less recoil and a uh, higher chance of doing other things. Uh, Spro, we can sell all the mechs and well, only to our marauder. Piloting would give you either awareness, which makes you immune to sensor lock, or maximum evasion. Uh, guts would give you juggernaut, which braces after melee, which, you know, this is the start of the melee tree, which is very good. Or hard case, which is just minus 10 stability damage, which is also very good. Or tactics, which gives you a plus 15% max sensor range and plus one to initiative and tactics rolls, which, you know, means sensors. Uh, passive or cautious gives uh, remove one stability, so it's the, the old master tactician. Snubs do have mind clear, yes, just not a huge amount. Ah, okay. Spirits wants to be a melee pilot. It's juggernaut for him, then. We're going to start punching people in the face. Training complete. Bracing up afterwards to avoid the fact that we just punched somebody Standing in the face. By. Okay, so what do we know about Sprogue? Sprogue, one, thinks he's smart. Because he kind of is. Uh, and two, he likes to break the game as much as he possibly can. I think he would enjoy the immunity to sensor lock, but no, I'm going to give him tactician. Let him move faster when he finally gets his marauder. And if not, we can retrain it. But, yeah. So that'll be everybody. Oh no, Talik also has a level up. And Talik is also a, a mech vehicle pilot, so all of these actually do matter. I don't know if Talik's still here. It is very late for him. It'd be one in the morning at the moment for Talik. So I'll save that for next time when he actually shows up. All right. So uh, that is going to do it for us for today. Hopefully the Raiders enjoyed themselves and had a good time. Uh, what is it about Road Tech and Company Commanders who are always on the verge of bankruptcy? Trade is intentional. Ah, I don't care. But with us, it's because we like the things. Uh, Talik wants bandit. All right, Talik wants to build a uh, a missile pilot as usual. The Talik. I'm here. Talik grabs bandit. He's locked in. Mech warrior training. All right, so. As I was saying, well, we're going to end things here. Oh, again, hopefully Raiders had a good time. If you did, maybe hit that follow button. You'll get notifications every single time we go live or join our Discord. You'll notice the links down below. The Urban Mechs, like the one on my t-shirt, will guide you there. And they will, uh, you can chat and hang out and find out more about our community. We stream three times a week. We stream three different games. Uh, on Wednesdays, we play Rogue Tech, which is, of course, this. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I love this mod quite a bit. Fridays, we normally stream a Mech HQ game, which is the original tabletop battle tech. We have a role-playing game going where we have, like, 30 members of our Discord are actually in the company, and it accepts more members. 
uh, we write short stories, basically kind of a choose your own adventure sort of style, and then we sort of play out the battles and see how things end up happening. Recently, one of our Lance Leaders got captured because they decided to take a one-on-one -on -one duel with one of the enemy bosses, which was pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, this week we're not going to be having that because I am going to be unavailable on that Friday. Uh, Saturdays we were playing MechWarrior 5, but with the DLC three weeks around the corner and Merktech not working in multiplayer, we're actually going to be playing Sins of the Solar Empire, a mod for it called Ages of the Federation, the Four Years' War. If you've ever heard of Axanar, and if you haven't, you need to look it up, A-X-A-N-A-R, uh, then it basically takes place during that time period, complete with Ares class, which I'm very much looking forward to. I'll be playing with uh, K-Ogre, Sprogue, and Sean on that one. It'll be a 4v4 bots, and we're going to have some fun with that. Hopefully you'll be able to swing around and have a good time with that. Sorry about the... I just saw that my mic peaked the moment I clapped my hands. So I do apologize. Hopefully you are now not deafened. But yeah, if you enjoy science fiction, Star Trek, uh, Battletech, of course, then consider joining our Discord and our channel and checking out the other links in the description. So it does look like Bloody Doves is online. So let's go say hi to the dove. So slash... Uh, what is it? Red... Bloody Doves. For those who don't know, Bloody Doves is the maker of a sister mod to Rogue Tech called Battletech Advanced 3062. It's a little bit more focused, has less of the insanely huge number of options, and takes place in, of course, uh, 3062 or 3068 or 36. I can't remember at the moment. Uh, but he works with the Rogue Tech team on a lot of things. They have a lot of things in common. If you found Rogue Tech to be slightly too much for you, then consider perhaps playing Battletech Advanced 3062. Now, I will see you all. 3060! See, I can't get it. I used to have it because we used to play it. It is 3062, okay. And I will see you all in the next episode, folks. Ta-ta.